Welcome to my mythical apartment where dreams are actually dreams because this is literally where I sleep. Not like right here. I don't sleep in front of the fridge. On some hot nights I sleep right in front of the fridge. It comforts me. Alright y'all, so I'm home relaxing for the holidays. I got my relaxing pants on. I got my cozy fire keeping me warm next to my fridge. But it's been a full year of Mythical Kitchen, so I wanted to look back and tell y'all the shocking, the revolting, the absolutely true untold stories behind some of Mythical Kitchen's best moments. Let's get looking. Alright, so we're gonna start out with some footage that you have never seen before. This was an internal test that we shot just to see how the recipe videos on Mythical Kitchen would go. Welcome to Mythical Kitchen, guys. Today we are making the Doritos Locos Pizza. You may have a few questions like, what does that mean? Why are we here for such a short time? And then it gets taken all away. Fun fact, we shot this on the day that I broke the world record for most baby food eaten in one minute, three pounds, four ounces. I've since lost that record, but I'm going to get it back. Woo, I'm all jacked up on baby food. So on this day, I quite literally had to poop my pants. That's why the energy was so high, so much higher than you'd seen it before. Nicole, more water. And one for the homies. So now anytime I need a boost on set, my director Ben just goes, Josh, poop your pants energy. And I know exactly what he means. Because again, I had to poop my pants. I did not poop my pants. But the cornmeal is gonna actually interrupt the gluten that's in there. Ah, oh, crap, cool, yeast. I don't remember. Oh, pantry. No, no, this one. It's in an unmarked uh, thing. What does that mean? If, if all the other ones are marked, so the one unmarked one is yeast. Bottom left. What we learned that day was that it's important to be very prepared for a shoot. And then we proceeded to not implement that lesson in anything we did in the future. And we're gonna take this thing that was way too long to actually get coated. We'll solve that later. My apron got untied. I'm just getting it covered in grease. My glasses are covered in grease. My face is covered in grease. My whole life is covered in grease. What's crunchy in the bun? There is something that's- Oh my God, that's just charcoal. We're just crunching through. We put a lot, we put way too much charcoal on that. As you can see, things may look a little bit different, but nothing's really changed. Sugar really helps yeast bloom. <laughs> Why? Everything's blocked. What? Created a fortress. This is where I learned that the visuals are very important so the camera can see everything you're doing. That's why all of my sets and frames are incredibly clean and well organized. I can't even say it with a straight face. So yeast is actually a living organism, right? And what it does is it eats sugar. Do you want a spoon? No, I'm fine. Why? Fingering remains a very important culinary technique in the mythical kitchen to this day. This is where we learned how to do it. All right, just use your fingers to get in the crevasses. Thank you so much for cooking here with me as I just finger another nugget of, of grouse. And um, you're just gonna finger it right in there. And then Lucas, just gonna put your fingers in and jimmy it. No, I'm good. Okay, that's great. Can I just fist it? Yeah. All right, fudge fister. That was my nickname <laughs> in high school. And you wanna kind of just like finger in a hole? This is actually the way I do it. This isn't a bit, Maggie, I'm sorry. Don't use your hands, I, I gotta stop. <laughs> Inform it to the edges of the pan. Oh, it's going fine! Mm, yes, 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 as you see, this is the frustrated dough punch. We have evolved so much as a channel. Now I've learned that if you punch, you risk fracturing the metacarpals. That is what led to the palm heel strike. Much stronger strike. Shout out to Bass Root and come on the show. Typically, I'll do the palm heel strike method I've where you take you do it, it and you go, ha! <laughs> do a nice little palm heel strike. <laughs> I'm just gonna palm heel strike. Palm heel strike! <laughs> I'm stuck there. I think I can palm heel strike this. Can I? I, 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 I? No, yeah, it doesn't really move. Naturally, our test episode was met with resounding approval, so we set out to make more. The food is supposed to be shared, and it's best enjoyed with friends. We're peck popping buddies. Let's try it. Buddies. Oh, oh, look We're at doing this. it. I'm so excited to wear this! It's back from the past! Back from the past! Back from the past! It was in the past, now it's back! Man, I poured hot oil into this Vitamix. Why are you going with the backhand? <laughs> so the people can see it, man. That's a crack guess. That's a veteran move. Anytime I sign my signature, I actually <laughs> sign it in the other person's name. Why? It's to you. Why would I sign my name on your book? That's stupid. I'm gonna close my eyes, because I don't want to get yeah, chocolate in my eyes. There it is. Ah. There we go. You want to really so smell it. So what we're doing smell, now is we're smelling good. the good. rice, and what, oh, you guys can't smell this, but that smells like butts. Who do we have here? My name is Madame Millie. So can you go ahead and peel this potato for me? No. It smells like up dog in here. Up dog? Yeah. Not like down dog? No, it smells like up dog in here. Up dog? Yeah. Okay. Wait, but what? Uh, but, what? Wait, it smells like wait, up dog. It smells like up dog in here. Up dog? Are you doing it? Mm -hmm. What were you just doing? You try to kiss what? me? No, I was tricking. Oh my god. Oh, if I tried to kiss you, you'd know, fella. And you know what we thought would be fun? We said, hey, let's start a new YouTube channel two months before a pandemic shuts the entire world down. Are these getting hot? They're not getting hot. We used to have a big old nice studio with big old nice cameras and nice people to run those cameras, and then we went to me doing every fridge stop! 
stop exemplifying my point of how difficult it is to shoot at home. Gorgeous, we got a beautiful crust on that. Oh, there it goes, okay. I'm offering $1 million cash to any scientist who can create a smoke alarm for a house that can tell the difference between an actual fire and someone cooking a steak. It started saying fire, fire. What if the alarm was like, nice job cooking the steak, Josh. I detected this is a steak. And despite all these difficulties of shooting at home, we were able to rally together all these different YouTube chefs from around the country to come together for an awesome charity collaboration. And that to me was just such a fantastic moment to help out local restaurants. And I was eating Pad Thai waffles for like a month. I had so much leftover Pad Thai. There might still be some in the freezer. And we figured since we were probably gonna be stuck at home for a couple months, we should probably figure out a way to have fun with it. And thus our interdimensional mythical Kitchener universe was born. Can you help me cr crack an egg? Yeah, I got you, dude. Okay, great. Trevor, toss me an egg. Okay, here it comes. Hey Josh, can you give me some chocolate chips, please? Oh yeah. Sorry. Trevor, it's bread, you gotta need it, buddy. What, stop. I wanna touch it. Josh, your hands aren't even in my kitchen. What? What? Hey Josh, can I borrow your meat mallet? Coming your way, Trev, I think I found out how this works. Oh. Hey look, we finally figured it out. Josh, do you wanna try this? Yeah, sure. This is gonna work? Good job, buddy. I was the one who actually wrote that bit, and then I regretted it because I doused myself in water while I was wearing a microphone that was hooked up to electricity, so I kind of thought that I was maybe gonna explode. You know what? I sure wish you all at home had taste division because we sure made some tasty food here in Mythical Kitchen. Roll the montage. That Trevor. Wow. Oh my God. What more can I say about that freaking Chris sandwich? That was the single best thing I have ever cooked. Definitely in the mythical kitchen, probably ever. Might be the single greatest bite of food in my life. And me and Trevor continually screwed up prepping for it the day before. Like the buns didn't work. He was originally gonna make something called a queen yaman and it just looked like crap. And I was like, Trevor, can you just make a cronut the day of? Like we don't have any swaps. We don't have any that are pre-made. I was like, Trevor, I need you to nail this in one go or else the whole episode's screwed. And Trevor just looks at me and he's like, I got it boss. He doesn't call me boss. He probably said like, okay, stinky. Cause he says that a lot. And then we did it on the day of in the sausage. We had no idea if that was gonna work. We had it wrapped in 50 pounds of butter. Literally all of these things failed the day before. And then like a Hanukkah miracle, it just exploded in flavor in our mouths. To me, that is what Mythical Kitchen is about. Against all of our self-imposed odds, we should have failed during that episode and instead we created literally the best food I've ever eaten in my life. This is legitimately one of the best foods I've ever tasted in my life. But despite that working out as well as it did, there was certainly no shortage of chaotic moments in the mythical kitchen. It almost seems weird to have to say it out loud because people are just like, we know Josh, we know. Someone get those in the freezer, figure it what out. Are we get it? Figure <laughs> it out. Not me. Trevor. No it goes. <laughs> get it, put it, yeah. That's great, put it in the freezer. Oh, get it, get it, get it. oh my God. Go, 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 go. Oh. We're doing fine. What? Oh. We're so oh. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Oh, Ben. This is why I can't have nice things. Trevor, hold it together. We're making a serious cooking show here. Jiggle, jiggle harder. I can't jiggle harder. I'm telling Nicole to jiggle. Oh! But wait, this thing I was told on. You the top's backwards, it wasn't man. on. It wasn't on. I told on. you the top's backwards. What do you mean the top's backwards? Ah! Oh, Nelly, we got me a live one. Oh, God. Get lost, bug. I almost pulled a hamstring trying to kick a fly. That's it's hard. Ow, woo, why would you woo, touch I it? Know, I don't know why I touched it. Also, you're gonna want to fly. You're gonna want to fly to bless your turkey. That's, uh, people don't know this, I'm Jewish, but Jews for Thanksgiving, we always have a fly. Can't be a Jewish fly. Uh, gotta be a goy fly, come in and bless your turkey. So, thank you, fly, for your service. Yeah, you you, you stay there. Don't, 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 don't mind me. Here, get on, get on. Oh no, he's dead. <laughs> He's cool, he's cool. <laughs> I've never seen my fridge at this angle. This is a cucumber salad that I made in April. Like I think it's growing, there's like yeast on the bottom. It could still be good though, cause now they're just pickles. 
As you can see, we've had such an incredible year at Mythical Kitchen, and I can't believe that every single day I get to show up to work and do the thing that I love the most with people that I love. And honestly, you, the audience, has been so freaking inspiring across this as well. It's so awesome to know that we have gotten people to step out of their comfort zone and get cooking even when they thought they couldn't be comfortable doing so, and all the DMs, all the pictures of your food under hashtag dreams become food has been really incredible and super inspiring, and honestly, it's what keeps us going. All right, all right, all right, I know I'm being a little sappy right now, and I know what you really came here for, so roll the montage of me being gross. I should have said this earlier, but you have a little bit of peanut butter in the corner of your mouth. <laughs> I do, I was eating a lot of peanut butter before this. It's like a weighted body pillow, except I don't have one of those, so I just hug a bag of Cheetos every night and call it my wife. Uh-oh. I will not disappoint you, chef! You spit on my hand. I will not spit on you again, chef! The pan is all the way up and it's not hot! <laughs> One day I'll stop spitting when I talk and getting it in the food. This stuff gets me okay, wet, buddy. Yeah, you know what? Can we take that again? My hands have looked like this the whole time. Baby need wipey. <laughs> I'm so sticky. I'm gonna have to shower in the sink again. Now I'm sticky, and one of my biggest fears in life is being sticky. Look at it. Look at it. It looks like I'm... <laughs> Welcome to Olive Garden. When you're here, you're friends. I washed my hands. You just saw me wash my hands. He did not wash his hands. If you yell that someone <laughs> insisted they saw you wash your hands, then they think you did. <laughs> Keep it in your mouth. Do you want no, this? No, 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 I can't stop it. You gotta stop No, no, this is a terrible idea. Look, you, you just gotta turn off the thing. I can't turn it off. You turn have, off the gravity. You said you were gonna eat all of it. I felt like I held up my end of the bargain. <laughs> Thanks for watching. We'll see y'all in the new year. This is just a cabbage core. Tub of miso, baggie of bacon, beans, other beans, half an onion in foil, two different jars of salsa, my yogurt. This is lunch today, baby. Mwah. Rock it with a spork in your pocket. Get the spork tea now at mythical.com.